subscribe um, to a production vlog. In the kitchen today, we have Brian, Lisa Redfern from, I don't know, Shared Tastes, um, and Adam. And we also have me, Teddy Bear Production. Our cooking challenge was modeled after Chopped. We modified it in a few ways to keep it more friendly and more fun. First of all, we decided we weren't gonna do timed rounds. Before the cooking event, every chef needs to go to the grocery store and pick out three to four items that they've never seen before, they're not sure how to use it, or they're just curious about it. The game master will then divide up the strange items between each participant and then everybody will have a chance to taste test their items and come up with ideas of what to fix. We had everybody working together at the same time and if somebody drew a blank then we could all brainstorm on what to do to help. We decided we were going to make a complete meal so that when we were finished we could all sit down and enjoy it. A little splatter happened. Oh, wouldn't it be hilarious if it actually exploded again? Yeah, we had a mess last night. It was pretty bad. It's really flavorful as well as kind of dull at the same time. Mm. That's also pretty good. It brings a lot of spices into the plate as well as something that you usually don't get like every day. Okay. As well, it's his first time on the show. Oh, okay. So I'm giving him benefit for that. It is a little spicy though. Since it's our first show, it's everybody's first time, isn't it? No, it's our on the flute vlog. Okay. With the uh, pumpkin and almond sauce with fried bananas, with cream, <laughs> and a little bit of jerky. Let's get. <laughs> okay, we need a little more commentary there. Well, it's really good because cherries really bring out the flavor, as well as I haven't tried the bananas, but it looks really good. Okay, I think we have our winner. We do. Is it gonna be any surprise? Who's the winner? Hmm. Hmm. I think we have a winner. Ah, Mr. Brennan. Mr. Brennan is the winner, the chop champion. 